Hi everyone and welcome back to our kart racer series. In this episode we're going to be looking at how we actually keep track of the laps we are making and so how to foolproof this as well so that players can't cheat and go backwards and then trip over the line every single time. So let's get started. So for us to in order to track whether or not the player has made a lap we first of all have to indicate where the start and end of the track actually is. And the easy way of doing that is with a collision shape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new blueprint actor and we'll do BP finish line. And the finish line is simply just gonna be a box collision. We'll drag out across the track. So leave like that. So let's drag it into our scene here. And there's our finish line. And I can just rescale that as I want over here. So the way the finish line is going to work is when the player crosses it, we're going to count how many times they cross it. But more importantly, we're going to make sure we are counting up when they're going forwards for it and down when we're going backwards for it. So if the player goes for it in the wrong direction, they're going to lose a lap. Essentially, you're not going to show that on the screen, but they're going to lose a lap. But if we go through it the correct way, we will gain a lap. And we're only going to show like the positive gains on the screen here. So what we're going to do with our finish line here is we make this thing keep track of the laps it's done. So I'm going to go to the variables and lap count. And that's going to be a integer. Okay, next we're going to go to begin overlap. And on begin overlap, we need to check with the direction the player character is going in. So with the other actor, we're going to cast that to the cart. So cast to BP cart. And from that, we can get what direction the company going in. So if we go to the cart, last time we made in the cart this function to work out the track progress. So what is the current and wrong direction we're currently going in okay and i want it to return that boolean about whether or not we're going the right direction so let's add an output to this and we'll plug that in and plug in that value to the end there and we go uh is correct direction okay and i'm gonna make that uh compile there and we can even make it like a pure function because we're only just getting information, we're not actually changing anything. So I change the pure here. It's going to break something though because if I go to the event graph now, get tra track progress is not going to long longer report on the tick. So I would just need to print string that out if I wanted to use it. But we've really got print string happening in it. I'm not really fast. We can leave it alone. So let's get rid of that print string. Don't watch that. There we go. Okay. So we can now go back to our finish line. Right. And on BP cart, we can drag out and get the track progress we made. It is correct direction. And if that is true, we're going to add to our lap count. So lap count, we can do increment. If it is false, that means we're going the wrong direction, we're going to decrement. Compile, save. Now you don't want to just do only go up if you're going forwards because you can just go back over the line and back across, back over the line, back across, back over the line and like keep doing that and your number will just keep going up. So you need to punish the player for going backwards over the line. So that would be the lap count going down by one. So if I wanted to go to my tick event on here to print string the lap count, we can test that out. If I drag out lap count, get, put in there, and change this duration here to zero, like that. Okay, so let's play that. So here's zero lap at the moment. If I were to go around the track once, we'll go around. And if I go across the line, we should see the value go from 0 to 1. Yeah. 
But if I was to like say reverse over the line, it'll go down one. If I go back across the line here, it'll go back up to one. Yeah, so I have to make go the whole way around in order for the number to actually get any higher. Lap two. And if I were to turn around completely, we'd be going the wrong direction. So it'll go down to one. And if you keep going round, that's still going to go down by another one. So if I keep going round and round and round, it's going to go down by another one, right? Now, you may not want that to happen because you want the player not to be punished for going round multiple times. You only punish them once. So what we need to do is tell the finish line to only decrement once unless we've gone over the line. So on decrement part of it, on the force here, I'm going to do a do once. And the reset for this is when we go back over the line correctly. So let's drag out our lap count on from the increment to do once to reset so it'll go through and reset only when we've gone through and done a correct lap so for example if i were to turn around and go down there to negative one if i go around the whole entire lap again it won't go down to zero it'll just stay at negative one okay but if i go around the right way it's going to reset back to zero so it won't give me an increase it'll just reset back to zero so now i can go around the right way around the track and it'll go up to one lap in the correct direction there we go so there you go we've got now a cheap proof way of keeping track of what laps the player is currently doing now, the next part, we're going to show this more graphically on the screen. And this one is a little bit trickier because we don't want it to actually show the number going down only when it goes up. So you're going to see the next part right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We're going to find all my episodes out early before everyone else for just $1 a month. Thank you so much for everyone for supporting the channel over on Patreon and on YouTube members. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.